Since I've been grown, I've been strong and tall. I ain't ever met nobody that could keep me on a bar. Lorenzen Wright's disappearance was all over Memphis TV. Lorenzen Wright has not been seen since Sunday. One local news crew even got his ex-wife, Shara, to come to the door. He was fine. And he's fine now, and I can't, I'm not gonna believe anything other than that he's fine now. In those days after Lorenzen went missing, his friends are all trying to come up with plausible explanations as to where Lorenzen might be, that maybe he is fine. But there's one thing that keeps coming up, one thing that sticks out when they think back about the night he disappeared. In the hours after Lorenzen took that selfie in his friend's car, they remember that Lorenzen and Shara had a fight. That evening, Phil and Lorenzen had been planning a father-son night with their boys. But suddenly, Lorenzen gets a call from Shara, and it was unpleasant. I could hear Shara say, no, no, you bring him home now. He was like, all right, okay, all right, fine. I don't want to argue with you. And so we drove on to the house. Yeah, he was dropped off at Shara's house. He was just going to go see his, go see Shara. And when we pull up at the house, he said, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to calm her down. And I'll call you later and then we can go out. So Phil drives away, having no clue that this is the last time he'll see his friend. Because a few hours later... Georgetown 911, where is your emergency? That 911 call, which might not have been investigated then... Son, I have nothing but gunshots. But it is now. Nine days after Lorenzen went missing, police are all over it. The call was revealed because um, they went back and checked their records, and they found that they had this, this desperate call from a man, you know, nine days earlier. Once the 911 supervisors realized that there was a call made on that night, they did a triangulation and, and found the area that the call was made from. It's a rural area, a wooded area, not a lot of traffic. And when police visit that wooded area, their worst fears are realized. They find the body. Police in Memphis, Tennessee, have found the body of former NBA player Lorenzen Wright. Of course, it was a huge story on the local news. They found him almost instantly. His body was found. There wasn't much left of it because it, it had been out there nine days. Even if you knew Lorenzen well, there was no way in the world that you could have identified his remains as, as him. The condition of his body was shocking, that he had literally melted in the hot summer sun. The six foot 11, 255 pound NBA center was just 57 pounds when his body was found. Badly decomposed, investigators say he was shot at least five times. When did you find out that he was dead? When they found his body. When I got that phone call, you know, I just threw down the phone and just broke down, you know? It was really, really, it was really painful. Me and my girlfriend jumped in her car and flew over there so quick. I was trying to get down there where he was because I wanted to walk his last step. But me and him was like this. So you went to the crime scene. It was as if you wanted to find a clue. Right. By literally walking in his footsteps. Yes. You could see a mother's anguish in real time as news cameras capture her desperation to see her son. Lorenzen Wright's mother was ushered behind the crime tape by MPD investigators. She was visibly upset but did not speak to the media before leaving the scene. They had her on the news, where's my baby? Screaming out, where's my baby? Did the police let you get into the crime scene? They let me fall a little bit, but they won't let me get all where, where he was. They let me get under the tape. They, well, they, I, they, I went under the tape anyway. Of course, they tried to stop me. Did you see your son? Nope. I, they wouldn't let me get that far. This area is woodsy, it's quiet, it's really remote. That area was also not very far from that shortcut where Lorenzen Wright once lived near his mother, the Callus Cutoff. The Callus Cutoff? That was a shortcut Lorenzen had taken hundreds of times. It's a strange place for his body to show up. Is it a clue? No one was concentrating on it in that moment. 
No one was talking about the fact that, you know, that he lived nearby. The body turning up there, does it narrow the scope of people who were involved in it, or does it widen it? It's still very hard to tell. Publicly, yeah, there was a lot of talk about other people being involved. You talked to people and asked, did you know anybody, any reason why anybody would want to hurt Lorenzen? Was he involved in illegal activity? They also found shell casings and actual bullets. Turns out police found shells from two different caliber weapons. This is a critical piece of evidence. It means that more than one gun was used in the shooting. Lorenzo was shot five times, but he was shot with two different guns. So we got another shooter. But then it got really real to us that he's gone. Somebody has killed Lorenzo. I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, who could have killed my friend? Why would somebody want him to die? The answers wouldn't come quickly. In fact, it would take a book written five years later to shed new light on the case, a book written by none other than Shara herself. And then this book comes out, which almost appears to give clues. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.